So uh, um, you do not know how hard it was to tell Tim that he was going to introduce somebody <laughs> and pretend like he was going to present an award rather than receive one. Um, it really, that's kind of a theme for me. Um, you know, I speak a lot in front of you, uh, probably 20 times a month, uh, probably over 1,000 people a month. And this is really one of the hardest nights that I have to get through. I have a vowel at the end of my name. I'm the son of an uh, um, Italian mother and an Italian father. At least that's the way we were raised. And uh, <laughs> I tend to be a little emotional. And uh, this night is one of those nights where you just see something that you, just, you gave an, an idea to and you see people take it really to another level. So when I was preparing uh, this award tonight, uh, or what I was going to say about this person that won the award, um, I went over and over and, and really tried to say, you know, what is the one story that I could uh, talk about or that would really kind of give the, the essence of who this person is? And uh, um, I, I, I guess I'm going to come up with one word again. <laughs> and that word is ferocious passion. That's called a callback, by the way. Um, ferocious passion. This person is so passionate about Rainmakers that, you know, there are nights and days that run an organization of 1,500 people. It's not so fun. By the time you get to, uh, by the time it hits my desk and by the time I'm having to deal with something, it's not exactly the, the, the top of what goes on. I try to give that to the people that really deserve all the fun stuff. And, and a lot of times, a lot of times when you, when, you, when you need somebody to talk to or when you need somebody to remember why you're doing all this and you hear that person's voice and just after five seconds of talking to them, you've been reinvigorated about what you do. Does anybody have that? That's probably the greatest gift you can give somebody, isn't it? It's remembering why you're getting up today, re remembering why you're going to go and achieve your goals, remembering why what you do is important and how important it is to other people. I can't tell you how important this person is to some of the members here. I can only tell you some of the results. This person has got more people to join Rainmakers in one night than anybody else in the entire association, in the association's history, including myself. This person has been single-handedly developing a region that I really didn't want to pay any attention to. South of Bloomington, what is there, right? <laughs> I didn't really know why we were going to grow down there, but I've been convinced lately because we, we've been convinced by his passion, by his ferocious passion. Sometimes I have to really corner him and I have to go, look, man, we've got to talk about how we're going to help you grow your business and so we can make you get to where you need to go. I have to remind him that what he does for a living sometimes and that, that this is the way he derives his main income and that I need to help him grow that one rather than the one that we're trying to do together. Because he so ferociously serves every single person in this room. I mean, if we could just take one day and serve like Jim Doring, this world would be a better place. And I am proud to make this year, the one year that recognizes Jim, Rain, Jim Doring as Rainmaker of the Year. Please, congratulations. Holy SH out of IT. Uh, this, uh, I'm not worthy of this. It makes a three hour drive from Bloomington a whole lot better. We just went through. Um, to stand in the company of the people that have gotten this before me um, is, is just unbelievable. Mike and Cindy, who were my mentors um, for the last year. Um, Nikki for pushing me to do, into doing what I do. Um, my wife for letting me go to 100 meetings a month <laughs> and say, when are you going to go to work? Um, Tony, I thanked you about two years ago. I remember for founding Rainmakers, for giving me the opportunity to be a Rainmaker. Um, 
And when I joined, went to my first meeting in Greenwood, I really thought I knew how to network and how, and how to do things, and boy, was I wrong. Uh, yeah, the way we do things is so incredibly unique and different that you can't help but get passionate and get, and get pulled in. Um, wow, that's just plain wow. Um, so I'm going to do what I do when I'm out with people. If, you, if you're wearing a blue dot, raise your hand, please, for me. <laughs> this is what I do better. I'm not a good speaker. I'm not motivational. If you're wearing a blue dot, if you don't join tonight before you walk out that door, it is the biggest mistake of your life. Thank you. <laughs>